Well, how you doing? You Mark, Mark Whalem and the Buttermilk Boys. How you guys doing? Shazam. Good, doing good. Great. Yeah. Doing great. Good. Yeah. Yeah, um, we want to start out by uh, you guys going around and uh, telling us your names and what you do in the band and a fun fact about yourselves. Let's start with you. Cool. Uh, my name is Malcolm Mosley. I'm 22, and I play piano, keyboard in the band. Um, fun fact about me is uh, I cannot, but I desire the ability to do a backflip. Mm. Yeah. Nice. You should get it. You should get one. You're going to get it. Eventually. Uh, my name is Benjamin Baird. Uh, I play drums in the band. And a fun fact about me is I was born in Alaska. Cool, that's cool. Another fun fact is that you're taller than LeBron. What? He's taller LeBron. than LeBron James. There we go. So, <laughs> mm, mm, yeah. uh, my name is Mark Whalen. I play keys and I write the songs. And a fun fact about me is I don't think anyone sitting here can guard me. <laughs> anyone sitting know, here I what? Think can guard me. I don't, I don't think anyone can. Okay. I think if we're talking, yeah. think if we're talking street ball, I can guard you pretty well. Oh, street, ball. street ball. Ooh, I mean, we'll, okay, okay, okay. So. In the regulation rules, absolutely not. But street <laughs> ball, street ball for sure. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> My name is Max. <laughs> My name is Max Bourgeois. I play bass in the band. Um... I'd say a fun fact is my middle name is Jane. There you go. Nice. Oh, Max That's a Jane. strong middle name. Yeah. That's an awesome Powerful. name. I like it. Uh, my name is Colin Takata. I play guitar in the band. And a fun fact about me is uh, I can't guard Mark in regulation <laughs> basketball moves, <laughs> but street ball, I can guard him any day. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not any day. If he's really feeling it, then it's kind of tough. But sometimes yeah. he's hot from mid range. If he's hot, then he's hot. <clears throat> I like it. So how do we? Um, how did the Buttermilk Boys come together? After you know such <laughs> great times. <laughs> well, um, I like I said, I met Malcolm in seventh grade. I also met Max in seventh grade. I met Colin, and I believe tenth grade. Or 11th grade. I think it was might have been 11th I think, grade. I tough. mean, we, we met each other in 10th grade, but it was only till 11th grade when we started, like, chilling. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he went to our rival high school, and uh, between the two high schools, there was only one music theory class, which we all took. So yeah. uh, we met through a mutual friend, actually. But um, Tom LaFay. Shout out Tom LaFay. Yeah. I know he's listening. Hope he's doing well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we met through that and kind of kind of bonded, and you know he he was we were all really into music, and you know in high school we would like play our talent show every year, you know like Weezer covers, and we would um, you know like all meet in a garage and you know play Red Hot Red Hot Chili Pepper songs and and stuff like that, and um, as the times kind of went on, um, we all ended up going to Wayne, and that's also around the time where like our own um, you know, where we started kind of writing more seriously. I don't want to say seriously, but, you know, started writing more songs for ourselves and doing stuff like that. And I'd say we definitely bonded over that in high school as well. And the fact that we were all going to Wayne, you know, it just kind of made sense to pull a band together. Um, I met Ben, or we met Ben in freshman year of college in music cultures. Mm -hmm. He was sitting in the back. And uh, I don't know how we got on the topic of... Can we playing. tell? I, I asked can we tell the story he, how Max met Ben? I asked him if he needed to. Well, we me and me, me and Ben just met like hanging out, and then our drummer couldn't make one gig, so oh, then we gosh. asked Ben if he could make the gig in like a week's notice, and never played together at all. And then he was like, "Yeah." So then it was him. And the old drummer was. <laughs> this is so crazy. I was in your guy's class. Yeah, yeah you were. Yeah. You were. <laughs> you were. Cause, yeah. That's so funny. That's where I met pretty much all of you. I think yeah. I think there's a lot of people here who are in the St. Music Cultures class. Thank that you was... so much, Miss Foreman. Oh, Thank you so much. Oh, my Lord. I can't talk, even lie. Talk about a good supporter. She, talk came, a... she came to our show, um, our album release show. Oh, yeah. I We went up to her a week before and we were like, hey, you know, Do we're playing this. Uh, and we were like, we'll give you free tickets. And she was like, ah, guys, I don't know, this or that. And she ended up coming, and it was nice. great. It was a great time. It was time. a great night. Yeah. Smalls Bar. Yeah. Smalls Bar. Smalls Bar. Smalls, Smalls Bar. So, okay, you guys talk a little bit about 
you know the kind of music that you guys play because it is it is really unique i uh i mean a lot of people that are familiar with your band and i'm curious if you guys can talk a little bit about it and yeah if i could chime in i mean a lot of it is just um mark's composition and just the stuff that you know he really brings to the fray um but we i think we all have very diverse um palettes of musicians that we end up bringing together as a live band to kind of you know re not reinvent but um support the stuff that that mark ends up writing yeah. um mm. and i think that's what's very unique about our, our band the the every everyone has something different to bring to the table of like how they uh digest music you know yeah yeah yes yeah i, I would definitely say um you know everyone here is such a such an amazing musician like in their own right everyone kind of does their own thing um and you know has their own kind of career and, and and stuff that they focus on and do you know outside of like just this group so you know when we come together um you know us playing live and stuff has always just been about like having fun uh because you know we've been doing it for so long and it, it started off as just like a hey you know he's got a drum kit in his garage let's you know let's play some songs we know and you know it's always kind of stemmed from just having fun so everyone kind of coming together and and um you know like colin said having their own thing to play and having kind of their own style and, and way of doing it um you know it's it's always fun coming together and i, I think it's pretty special yeah uh, i mean like picking back off that i think part of the, part of that reason is why you know we find success playing live shows um you know it's it's like pretty palpable when we're up there that like you know we we enjoy playing with each other we're friends you know it, and it i think that stuff really translates into the music because like you know when the band is having fun on stage you as an audience member you want to have Absolutely. fun as well you know it's it's it, you don't want to go to a show and not enjoy yourself so when we i feel like we create a pretty good environment for people to enjoy themselves and i think that that goes a long way yeah it's it's really refreshing to hear that because a lot of people a lot of times there's not that connection so it's great to hear that connection and we're wondering if you guys can hip the listeners to anything. And so what we want you guys to do is hip the listeners to anything, whether it be music, art, movies, events, whatever you want. Hip the listener. Like put them onto something? Yeah. Something else. Oh. You mean you mean like just like put them onto something? Yeah. Anything. So like just like yo, check this band out or like check this movie out. Anything. Like it could be a movie, uh, a song. It could be a place. It could be uh, you know your new Food. rainbow shoes or something. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything. Hip. Dealios in the Ben. What you got, Ben? What you been listening to? <laughs> I've been listening to this weird German rave music by this guy named Boris like Brecha or something like that. He's like this German DJ and for I don't know if it's just like the driving force or the intense repetition of the music, but it just does something for me. So yeah. check out dance music is tight, dude. Yeah. Check out yeah. Boris Brecher. It's B O R I S B R E J C H A. Space Diver is a cool one. That's a hell of a name. Kitty's yeah. Journey is also cool. If you're <laughs> man, dancing and raving out in your room or at a club, I don't know. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, a friend turned me on to this. Uh, I don't know if it's one person or it's a band, but they go by Midair Thief. Um, and it's really, really cool. I believe the person is from South Korea. And um, I don't really know how to describe their music too well, but it's it's a really, uh, it was really refreshing to listen to. Uh, it's like a, like cleaning your ears out, kind of like a very, very nice, refreshing listen uh, of stuff. So yeah, Midair Thief, they're really cool. Um. <laughs> I got a, uh, oh, uh, this is something, uh, people who own cats, stop using like the, the sand cat litter, you gotta get on like the pellet game, that's, that's just the wave, 100%, oh, 100%, 100%, okay. it, it turns into the sand eventually, um, with the pee, like, you know, it dissolves it or whatever, mm. but just way easier cleanup, they like it more, just, you're just doing yourself a lot of favors. I have to check yeah, that out. I got one. Let's hear it. Yeah, it's, uh, just putting it out there, Kale. Okay. Okay. I'm a fan. All right. They got them. It's good for you. It's 
It's mm. healthy. It's it's uh, sustaining. You know. Mm. It's a dark it's, leaf. It, you know. Are we talking? Are we talking regular kale or my, baby kale? What's your right, right, yeah, yeah. kale? Are you just um, eating it by the just handful? Just regular kale. Just yeah. eating it by the handful. <laughs> I feel like it should be cooked. Okay. If you cook so it, we're talking like cook raw it kale, really nothing good. else. I try not to eat it raw, cause like it can hmm. have stuff on it, you know. So okay. I try to cook it a little bit. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so Respect. do you like like soggy Watch kale it. sometimes? Soggy kale is fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. As long as it's just you know kale. <laughs> okay. All right, Colin. <laughs> oh man. Um, how can I follow that up? Um, but. If I'm gonna plug anything else, uh, a good friend of mine, Emily Eicher, running uh, this fridge, communal fr fridge in Southwest Detroit. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's really been taking off. Uh, you know, you you put in what you can, people take out what they need. Uh, it's and I feel like it's great for their community. So I'll plug that. You know, look awesome. up Detroit Community Fridge on Instagram. Nice. And shout out to Alyssa Grace Rogers, who also does tremendous amount of work for that for that area. Actually, mm. plugging something important. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we want to conclude by, you know, are you guys working on any new projects? Are there any shows coming up? And where can people find you? There's, um, we are working on a new album right now. It's pretty much done. Just got to do some business stuff at the end. But uh, it's pretty much done. Hoping to put it out either this summer or uh, um, in the fall, maybe. And um, we're on Spotify, Apple Music. I just joined LinkedIn. So if you're trying to get professional, I'm on there now. You're on LinkedIn. I'm trying to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get employed. Make connections. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for and having us. And you guys can check them out. And we'll see you next time. Remember, Jupiter and M. Detroit and Mars. collab. Jupiter. Sublime. Pluto. Interviews. Aha. Hi, ho. <laughs> <laughs>